weekend on Go Grammar Go, specially brought to you by TV Pendidikan. As usual, Go Grammar Go will see two teams competing in four grammar games to get the highest points. Now, let's meet the contestants who are going to pit their grammar skills, intelligence and speed against each other. Let's give them a warm welcome. From Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Taman Si Petaling Jaya, we have the Red Team. Welcome. And the team that is going to try to sing them is the blue team from Sekolah Menengah Jenis Kebangsaan Katolik Petaling Jaya. SMK Taman Si is represented by Lee Junmei, Wu Sarah, and Rachel Wong Ching Wan. And the members of the blue team are from SMJ. K Catholic are Terja Palaniandi, Fazefrin Emir bin Farid Emir, and Lim Yi Pern. And to all our faithful viewers, welcome to Go Grandma Go! So, teams, are you ready? You're not ready. <laughs> Are you ready now? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay, let's start Go Grammar Go with a game called Words in Action. We are talking about action words. We also call them verbs. Verbs tell us what people, animals, or things do. Verbs can show us actions in the past, present, or future. A red team will go first. And Junmei, okay, you'll be the first player. Now, when you hear the buzzer, you'll have 60 seconds to read, decide on the best answer for each sentence, and drag the answers from the box to complete all the sentences. Uh, each correct answer earns you 5 points. Any wrong answer or unfilled blanks gets you no points. Get it? Okay. Now, are you ready? Yes. Oh, okay. Come Christopher. on over here. Okay. You will start the sound of the buzzer. The second one correct. The third one also correct. Oh, that's incorrect. And number five also correct. We've got four correct answers. Your total points is, uh, for the red team is now 20 points. Congratulations. Okay, now it's the blue team's turn. Herman? Well, um, Terja, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, could you please step forward? Are you clear on the rules? Yes. Okay. okay. Okay, time's up. Let's, Let's look at Turja's answer and see how she's got on the screen behind us. The first answer is correct. The second, ah, wrong. The third one is correct. The fourth one is correct. And the fifth one is also correct. Well, you give four correct answers. 
And your total point for the blue team now is 20 points. Congratulations. Alright, for the next game, come on over here, contestant number two from the blue team, Fazafrin Amir. Hello. Okay, our next game is called Names, Names, Names. We're talking about nouns. Nouns are the names of people, animals, things or places. Okay, um, Herman will read you a list of ten questions and in 60 seconds you have to try and answer all of them. If you do not know the answer, you say next, and uh, Herman will move on to the next question. The faster you answer each one of them, the more chances you have of answering all of them. Each correct answer gets you five points, and the buzzer will mark the start and the end of the game. Are you clear on the rules? Yes. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. okay listen carefully. Uh, 60 Ask. seconds. From now. Okay, when we sell goods to another country, we say that we export them. What term do we use for the things that we buy from another country? Import. Okay, you and I sleep on a bed. Where does a baby sleep? Thanks. Okay, the person in charge of a football match is called a referee. What do we call a person in charge of a tennis game? Next. Okay, the sound made by a bear is called a growl. What do we call the sound made by a donkey? Thanks. A bee lives in a hive. Where does a spider usually live? Spider web. Okay. Which of the following is not a flower? Marigold, asparagus, daffodil? Asparagus. Your father's mother's husband is your? Next. People in Thailand <laughs> use money called the baht. What is the name given to the currency used by people? Oh, this time's up. Okay. <sighs> Let's check. The Let's answer. check the answer. You got your first question correct. The second question, the answer should have been caught. Okay, the third question, umpire. The fourth one is brain. The fifth one, you got it correct. And the sixth one, also, you got it correct. Three correct answers, that means you got 15 points. Well done. Okay, go back now. Okay, it's back to the red team now, and it's Sarah's turn. <laughs> to try and outdo Fazafrin. Uh, Sarah, can you come over here, please? Okay, do you still remember the rules? Yes. Okay, I know we read the question uh, as soon as we hear the buzzer. Okay? Yeah, okay. 60 seconds from now. When we sleep, we, we usually dream. What do we call a very frightening dream? A nightmare. We use a wok to cook and fry. What do we, we use to bake a cake? Next. The person in charge of a factory is called a manager. Manager, what do we call the person in charge of a museum? Um, next. The sound made by a pig is called a grunt. What do we call the sound made by a snake? Hiss. A bee lives in a hive. Where does an ant usually live? Ant hill. Which of the following is not a fruit? Peach, date, gardenia. Gardenia. Your cousin's father's wife is your? Uncle? Uh, auntie. People go to the cinema to watch a film. Where do we, where would they go to watch a play? Um, next. A piece of land completely surrounded by water is called an island. What do we call a piece of land almost completely surrounded by water but joined to the mainland? Next. Name the instrument that we use to look at objects. Oh, uh, time's up. up. Okay, now let's see. The first question, you got it correct. Nightmare. The second, we used... Oven to make a cake. The per uh, and on the third, the person in charge of a museum is a curator. The fourth one you got it correct, his. And the fifth one correct, and hill. The sixth also correct, gardenia. The seventh also correct, and number eight, uh, we go to a theatre to watch a play. Okay, and the answer to question number nine. A land almost completely surrounded by water but joined to the mainland uh, is peninsula. So you've got um, five corrects, so 25 points for you. Okay, so thank well you done. very much. Uh, Sarah, you have scored 25 points, which now brings your team score to 45 points. Congratulations! 
Well, that's the end of round two, and the scoreboard tells us that the red team from SMK Paman C is in the lead with 45 points. And the blue team is following closely with 35 points. Congratulations. This is just to remind you that you're watching Go Grammar Go, specially brought to you by TV Pendidikan. Before we go on to the third game, let's look at the prizes for the winner and the runner-up. The prizes for this program are a dictionary, reference books and readers sponsored by Person Education Malaysia's Brian Berhad, your partner in education, and a hamper to brighten up your day sponsored by Smarty. The runner will also receive books from Pearson Education, Longman Malaysia, and Drember Hut, and a hamper from Smarties. So two games down and two more to go, and it's all on. Go, Drember, go! Okay, and now to continue the challenge, I know. All right, teams. The third game is simply called Words That Describe. Rachel and Yipeng, it's your turn and this is what Game 3 is all about. Each of you will have to look at the visuals on the screen, screen behind me and unscramble the given letters to form a word to describe the picture. You have to spell the word correctly and say it clearly. So you're given only 15 seconds to solve each of the visuals. The, word, um, the words given to you are either adjectives or adverbs. Okay, now five points will be awarded to you if you can uh, for each question. So, are you clear on the rules now? Yes. yes. Shall we begin? Yes. yes. Okay, we'll start with Rachel from the red team. Come on over here, Rachel. Hi. Hi. So, uh, do you know your adjectives and adverbs well? I guess. Okay. Um, we'll start at the sound of the buzzer. Strong. S T R O N G. Okay. Second one. Generously. G E N E R O U S L Y. Okay, that's good. Oh, what's for the third? The third picture. <coughs> Plum. P L U M P. Okay. This is the fourth one. Painfully. P A I N L F U L L Y. Alright. Now the last one. <laughs> Muslim. M U S L I M. Okay, well done. You got all correct. Okay. So five questions, five correct, five correct answers. So twenty-five points for you. Well done. Now it's the blue team's turn. Okay, come on over here, Yi Peng. You still remember the rules? Yes. Okay. I'll start at the sound of the buzzer. Talkative. T A L K A T I V E. Okay. Moving on for the next visual. What's with the book? No. Um, sleepy. S L E E P Y. Okay, good. Next one. Hope you're not like this in the class, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh. Greedily. G R E E D I L Y. Oh. 
Oh, I miss out for you. Well, okay, Yi Peng, number one is correct, talkative. Number two, the answer should have been interesting. Number three, correct, sleepy. Number four, we'll accept your answer for greedily. And number five, the answer should have been dangerous. Okay, uh, three correct answer, and that means you got 15 points. Congratulations. Total score for the red team uh -huh. is 70 points. Congratulations. And 50 points for the blue team. Well done. As you already know, there are some fantastic prizes to be won. And so far, the red team is in the lead. Congratulations. Game. Okay, this is going to be teamwork to solve a crossword puzzle. I know. Okay, this is how it is played. Each team will draw a numbered ball from this bowl. Okay, the number will correspond to a number in the crossword on the screen you see behind me. When the number is clicked on the puzzle, it will reveal the clue for that question. Are you clear now? Okay. okay, you then discuss it with your team members, decide on the answer and drag the letters from the box on the left of the puzzle to fill in the gaps. Every correct answer keyed in earns you 5 points. If your answer is wrong, your opponents get 20 seconds to complete it and steal your 5 points. Okay? Okay. okay. No one wants to the box. Okay. Okay, she got number two. Okay. Now let's see the clue for number two. 60, 60 seconds from now. Okay, extreme. You can discuss it with your team members. Discuss and one of you come over here. Never mind, drag it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll go. I still time is running out. Okay, okay. are you sure? Okay, let's check. Oh, that's oh, not that's correct. Not so, uh, the red team will have. 20 seconds from now. now. <laughs> One discuss. Hurry up. Oh, time oh, is up. Time's up. <coughs> Let's look at, at the, the answer. Acute. Okay, oh. now it's the red team. Okay, and it is the red team's turn. Michelle? Okay. Did this one down. Okay, let's one down. see. 60 seconds from now to achieve something. Oh, but okay. 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 Let's see. Sure. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Let's look at the answer. Oh, oh that's not. It's Incor incorrect. It's incorrect. So, blue team, 15, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, seconds from, seconds now. from now. Oh, time, time is up as well. 
So oh. let's look at the correct answer for that. Succeed. Succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Zero points okay. for both teams. I know. Now, blue team. Okay. Right, number three. Okay. Now, 60, 60 seconds, seconds from now. A sign of sadness. Sure yes, now? <laughs> okay, let's check. It's correct. Congratulations. Okay. The first five points for the blue team. Okay, the red team now. Okay. Rachel here has got number four. Okay. Okay, let's look at 60 Good. seconds from now. A fishing tool. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Okay. So <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's check your answer. That's correct. It is correct. Congratulations. It's the blue team's turn. Again. Okay. Come on, Yipa. <laughs> okay, let's see. Number one. 60 seconds from now. Cool. For the red team. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, time is oh. up. Let's look at the correct answer. Oh, it's, it's a pot. Okay, now. Okay, let's the continue with the red team. Can you get me one number, please? Okay. It is number nine. Okay, okay. 60 seconds from oh, now. now. Oh, unpleasant. Unpleasant. Okay, number five. Sixty seconds from now. Search thoroughly. Okay.
beautiful. Okay. So let's check the answer. Oh, correct. correct. Well done. Well done. Red team. All right, the red team now. Stir. One ball. Number eight. Okay, okay, 60 seconds from now. In what type of writing can rhyming words and stanzas be found? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let's look at the answer. It is okay, correct. correct. Okay. Last ball for the blue team. Okay, blue ball for the blue team. Number six. 60 seconds from now. Not doing anything. Come on, blue team. The blue team is not doing anything. <laughs> this card. Looks like the red team is ready to well. grab. Hurry up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, red team, 20 um, seconds. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Look Let's at check the answer. It is correct. correct. Congratulations. Wow. The last one. But you still have to stir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last ball. Number seven. Okay, 60 seconds from now. A like. Okay. Now let's look at the answer. It is correct. It's correct. Well done. Done. So that's the puzzle completed. Let's check the score for this round. The red team from SMK Tamansi scored 25 points and that brings their total score to 95 points. Congratulations! And the blue team from SMJK Catholic scored 10 points, bringing their total to 60 points. All right. And from the final tally, we have a winner. Congratulations, Congratulations Red, Red team. team. And to the runner-up, the blue team. Congratulations to you two. So that concludes the fifth series of Go Grammar Go. We would like to thank our sponsors, Pearson Education, Longman Malaysia Sindran Berhad, and Smarties. So bye bye for now, and don't forget to tune in to Go Grammar Go! Grandma, go.